Welcome, my name is Apple Reno4 and today I'll show you how to record your screen on the device. So to get started, let's pull down the notification panel and find the toggle, which for me it's right on the first page right over here. So before you tap on it, you can hold it and this will take you to the settings. And in here you can change a couple different things. So starting off, we have the sound. So we can record the system sound, which will be whatever uh, sound apps will be making. And then microphone. Now you can use both of them, but if you choose to do so, I would recommend you to also use headphones for that. Otherwise, um, <coughs> the microphone will be picking up the sounds that are coming to the speakers and it will create this echo effect that isn't very, um, well, very good. And then below that we have the video resolution. So you can tap on it and change it. Uh, honestly, I would advise you to go with the high. Um, if you want, you can go for custom. So we can slide around. Now, for some reason, it looks like uh, the resolution here doesn't seem to have any effect on the size, which is a little bit odd, honestly. Um, and only bitrate has effect. So, uh, I would, because the resolution has no effect, I would advise you to go for the highest resolution and then adjust the bitrate to however you, however far you need it. Now, personally, I would advise you to go for the max. Uh, that will then ensure that you have the best looking image quality of the video. Um, but as you can see, um, approximately five minutes will take 600 megabytes, about a minute is uh, 120 megs. And if you can't spare that much space per minute, um, well then you can just drop it down. As you can see, dropping it from 16 to eight basically reduces it by half. So and drop it however far you need it. Uh, I would also advise you to check it out how the quality will look like. Um, now in terms of megabits per second, uh, this is the quality that will be visible when stuff is moving primarily. When you have a still image, uh, for instance, like if I, I set it up and I'm just, I just have this open while recording and not moving it around, uh, it will look as sharp as it needs to at 1080p, but the moment I start scrolling up and down, that's where the quality will just kind of fade away. And then, apart from the resolution, we have the orientation. So you can choose which orientation you want. Now, by default, set to be uh, to be the same way as uh, as the display itself. So you can well, select it however you want. Now, I would keep it as it is, uh, so that will ensure that whenever you flip the device, it will also flip the recording as well. And then you have a toggle for the front camera if you want to record yourself through the front camera or whatever it sees. And then show also touches, which will record uh, whatever you touch the display, it will create this semi-transparent uh, circle. So once everything here is set up, you can leave it and simply toggle it on by tapping on the toggle right over here. It's agree, and we will need to allow a couple different things. Uh, so it needs to have access to the recording, screen recording, uh, to save the media, um, audio and stuff like that. And once you tap on it, it also gives you a brief guide on how to use this for some reason. So obviously red, record, the middle option, the gear uh, is settings, and then X is, yeah, you guessed it, closing. So let's just tap on the record button and it will start recording. And as you can see, whatever I will do right now is being recorded. Um, now the, the toggle right here, for the controls is not actually visible on the recording, it's only an overlay for you to see. So yeah, now once you're done, simply close it off and the video will be saved into your photo gallery. So let's open that up quickly. Let's go to albums and I believe it's gonna be in screenshots. Yep, and there it is on the bottom. So as you can see, this is the recording. So, so that is how you would record your screen. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.